How's it going everybody? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to Garage 99. In today's video, we are going to be working on the headlights. I told you I was going to get those refinished. And we're going to lower the stock suspension on the lowering bolts. I think it's about 5 eighths of an inch. It could be lowered, it could not. Maybe we'll see. But uh, we finally got this thing on the hoist. We figured out a ramp system that properly works. Well, works enough. And then we actually had to use those extensions that came with the hoist. As you can see, we already have the wheels off. We have to take the bumper off and everything else to get these headlights out. But we're going to go ahead and get the bumper off now. As you can see, I already cleaned up the brake calipers. Those are probably OEM painted brakes and they look amazing. So I'm really glad they came out as clean as they did because it's going to really pop now when the wheels are on. Let's go ahead and get the bumper off and see what else needs to come off for these headlights to come off. So guys, when you are taking the bumper off, most bumpers are the same way where you have to take off the fender liner clips. There's usually gonna be a couple of nuts on the bottom and there's usually gonna be a couple of nuts or clips on the inside where like the hood is. And then there's usually going to be one or two attaching the inside of the fender well, the bumper to the fender. So lots of nuts and clips and then it should come right off. Usually they have like a little bit of a lip like this one did in the top of the bumper that allows it to actually sit up there so you can secure it down. And then it usually just comes right off. Now that we got that off, I believe there are three bolts holding the headlight down. So once we get this headlight off, you can see here, this is the old gasket. We have a brand new gasket and everything to hold in our new headlights. Very excited to see how that looks. Yeah, I guess I'll just show you once we get this thing off. All right, headlights are out. Let's see if you can see that. There you go. That's before. This is the driver's side before. A lot of water stains, cracks, scratches. There's chips out of here. You can see there's little pieces in there. So I actually am going to clean the headlight casings thoroughly before I put everything back together. I'm gonna go ahead and get the vacuum and suck all this stuff out of here. I'm gonna clean the outside of here. Same with this side and down here. I'm getting the hood touched up. We're getting our new headlights in getting this thing all cleaned up. It's gonna be ready for summer. And maybe sooner than later, we're gonna need new tires because they, they spin too much. They spin way too much, actually. It kind of sucks. A lot of new stuff coming. And we're not really upgrading stuff. We're just trying to repair stuff, bring this back to our former glory. By the way, this thing looks amazing with the top off. Look at that. It just makes you want to go cruising in it, right? So we're gonna go ahead and vacuum all that stuff up and then we'll take the headlights apart. So this gasket I pulled off is actually just a sealant in between the headlight and the car itself. So it looks like I'm gonna actually have to put these in the oven and bake them. If you don't know what that is, it's where you heat the headlights up in your oven. You set it for 200 degrees, I believe for like 15 minutes, just to like heat up that goo inside of it. And then you're able to split the casing apart and remove it. Guys, while we're waiting for the oven to heat up, we'll go over a couple things. In the last video you guys saw, this wasn't running. I tried running it. Battery was just shot. I mean, for some reason, so I have two batteries. For some reason, the newer battery wouldn't take a charge when I put it on the charger. It's like six years old. I also have an 11 year old battery. It charges and starts this thing no problem at all. I'm not sure how or why that's even possible. It's an interstate battery. I don't know if that has something to do with it, if it's like a good brand or something, but the other one wasn't working well and this one just fired it right up. So ran this guy for a little while. It was leaking a little oil. I might figure out where it was coming from, but it was burning it off. And then after that, I kind of drove it around a little bit, make sure everything was fine and dandy with it. You don't have it insured to be drivable right now. It is just fire and theft. I think we're gonna put the race brakes back on. I'm not sure what I'll do that, but it's just the uh, pads, it's not even the rotors. The rotors already are the race rotors. They were too squeaky and built up too much dust with the other ones. So we'll go ahead and we'll put those back on sometime soon. I actually 
might not be able to put this bumper back on because I just ordered a bunch of clips when this thing was put back together. I can tell this bumper was off at one point. When this bumper was put back together, there's a bunch of clips missing and a bunch of like bolts here and there. Like they just lost them or whatever the case may be. So I'm actually going to put everything back together the way it's supposed to be with all the clips and everything proper. Just have that peace of mind that it was put back together the way it's supposed to be. I would say I could take the hood off right now, but I'll just leave it on there. It's not hurting anything. It's out of the way. So uh, we'll wait until they gets out of the oven and then figured while I'm waiting for the headlights to heat up, I'm actually gonna lower the car. So in the front of the car, we're gonna go ahead and slowly zoom in so you know where this reference is. On the top of that leaf spring, there is this bolt right here. If you loosen that counterclockwise, as far as it'll go, it's gonna relieve pressure on that leaf spring and it's going to actually lower the car. You have to do this on all four corners and I believe you can get at minimum half inch, five eighths of an inch of drop. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that. That'll be a nice little bonus. It's free and you can lower your car at least a half an inch. All right, so as you can see, I got the headlights apart. Now I am using silk microfiber gloves not to leave any residue or anything inside the headlights. Here's the inside of the housing. It actually looks really nice. I didn't realize this wasn't color matched. It's actually just silver, like a dark charcoal gray. So I mean, that actually looks really cool. It's probably gonna look awesome. We're going to reattach this to the new housing here. Oh, I'm gonna leave the plastic on the front side of it, obviously until we put this thing all back together and get it in the ground. I got these off of Amazon. They were like a hundred bucks. So if you guys ever need to redo your headlight housings, I definitely recommend going off of there instead of trying to like redo it yourself or something. Cause these are brand new. They're OEM and they are crystal clear. So this is going to make it look a thousand times better. I'm going to attach this piece. We're heating the other one in the oven right now. So we're going to just flip it over. I guess start putting this thing back together. All right. This is the one headlight. We already just put the other headlight in the house. We're going to let it cure for about 24 to 48 hours. We still have the film over the new case we just got, but man, these things look brand new. So excited, I can't wait to put them on. Yeah, do not forget to seal all the way around. When you split them apart, put a trail all along the tray of the black part of the housing where it fits into. When you line it up and push it all together, make sure you use a couple clamps. Rubber is better because it won't hurt the housing. Seal the outside. So you got the inside sealed and the outside to guarantee that you won't get any leaks of air, water, anything like that. I'm gonna put this in the house. Make sure you keep it in a temperature controlled area for about 24 to 40 hours. So let it cure and dry and everything. And then we'll put them back on. Ooh, no, that's, that's all you guys get. So I'm gonna go put this away in the house for a couple days and uh, we'll come back from there. Alrighty guys back on the ground. Look at those fresh new headlights. Man, those things are just crystal clear. Let's go ahead and close it. We're going to close the hood. We've got the hatch closed. We're going to take her for a quick drive. Just because it's nice out and I haven't taken her for a drive in a little bit. Yeah, I don't think some people grasp how ridiculous this car is. Don't focus on the video. You probably can't even see me. It's pretty dark out. But just listen to this thing. I got the windows open. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed,